Hello, 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 everyone. Happy Wednesday here at the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. I hope y'all are having a fantastic day. Today's live stream is going to be a lot of fun. Now, if you are brand new to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel, I wanna introduce myself. I'm Tanner Bell, the founder here at Makers Gonna Learn. And in today's video, we are gonna be sharing with you we are not going to be sharing with you my audio as I do have over to my right the comments so that I can be able to interact and see everything that everyone's got going on today. It's going to be fantastic. I will say compared to our live earlier this week where I wore a mic and now I'm not wearing a mic, but you can still hear me. It's just a little bit different. So how are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments, whether you're watching the recorded or here live with me, I know you're going to get a lot out of today's training. Here at the Makers to Learn YouTube channel, we do training in two different ways. One, we do a lot of live training. I feel like it's the number one way to master what your crafting is. Um, and we do that through these live streams right here. Number two is pre-recorded content. Um, we do a lot of pre-recorded videos where you get to learn specific things and we show up for you guys right where you need the most education. So we have pre-recorded, we have some documentary videos coming out like journeys of testing dollar store vinyl, for example. There's a lot of great things coming to the channel, so we're super excited. But today we are making a sublimation puzzle. Here is what the finished project is actually going to look like. So we have some really great tips and tricks for making a sublimation puzzle. You all are going to be blown away with the hack that we have for this project today. I am super excited for you to be able to do this. I absolutely adore this project, the quality. I mean, it feels really good. It's an amazing project. I think you're going to absolutely adore. So what I want to share with you today is if you are not already a Makers Gonna Learn member, it's actually our third way where we get to serve you even more. So if you're continually struggling to master your Cricut machine, you may want amazing files to sublimate and some exciting news launching uh, next week at boot camp. Um, you definitely want to become a member, okay? So how you become a member is you click the link down below, go to our join page, if you're looking to become a gear member, which you always will want to check out because there's a lot of bonuses there, um, that will allow you to get access to everything unlocked, thousands of cut files, almost a thousand fonts. There's 10 plus courses. I'll give you a sneak peek. We're launching 13 courses from our vault free for your members coming up very soon. So we're super excited about that. And today's coupon code, you can still use the coupon code YouTube. That is a special gift from me to you for savings when you want to go yearly with the membership. So hello everyone. Hey Erica, Marlene, Sue, Crystal, Stacy, Mary, Aaliyah, how are you? Christina, hello, hello, hello my crafty friends. Guys, today has probably been one of the most productive days I've got at work in a hot minute. My inbox got down to zero just for a second, <laughs> just for a second. And then it, then it went, crawled back up, but I'm really excited to make this project with you. So we have quite a few different materials here on the table. I'm going to gather them kind of like all together per se, and then go to the overhead just so you know everything needed to make this project. This is um, a really great example of all the different things you can do when it comes to sublimation. So I'm super excited for you to follow along with the sublimation project because a lot of you at home or may say, Tanner, I only want to sublimate shirts or Tanner, I don't know if sublimation is right for me. I, I don't want to make a lot of shirts or bleach dyed shirts aren't for me. I want to let you guys know, even if those items are not for you, let me tell you, my friends, sublimation is for you. Okay. The reason why I love to sublimate is that it's going to give you the ability to have access to so many colors and you're not having to order 10 different colors of vinyl or you're not trying to skimp out on doing an amazing design because it's go take 10 layers, right? This is a totally different mindset. I want to share with you for any friend that is brand new to sublimation. Sublimation 
is a chemical process, okay? So the heat activates it and opens up the fibers, lets that ink transfer over, and then those fibers close. Um, so that's why you get such a great transfer result. So I love it, love it, love it. Uh, going off to Santana, more emails. Hi, Sin, how are you? Sin's our editorial director, and we've worked together uh, for quite some time. So we have some friends saying, Tanner, what is the project? So we're making a puzzle today. So let me share with you the puzzle. So let's go over to the share screen or the overhead right here. So this is our puzzle. Um, this is our finished project today. I am super, super excited for you to be able to see how to make this. Um, it's absolutely really easy um, and it can seem a little overwhelming. So if you're overwhelmed, if you're like, Tanner, I don't know exactly if I can do it, I'm excited to walk with you today to make this. So let me go ahead and say, this is sublimation. So we sublimated this, obviously. I'm gonna walk you through how we use design space to do it. And then each one of these come up. So it's a puzzle. So this is obviously a kid puzzle. And then if you remove these pieces, if you remove the pieces, you see this. So this is actually step one of your projects. It's very simple to do. Um, this is four cuts really five cuts. So you cut your base wood, then you cut your Hobby Lobby, um, you know, piece. This is from the Hobby Lobby. Um, it's a three by a three, a three fourths by 36 inch piece of wood. Um, $2.99. What a great price. Holy cow. I love, love, love that. Um, you don't understand how much I wish I was there crafting with you guys. We wish you were here crafting with us too. I love that. You guys are awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you all so much for all the sweet comments. We are thrilled to uh, be crafting with you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm getting a phone call. Ugh, can't talk to people right now, y'all. Can't talk to people. Lord, love it. Okay, so we have this right here. It's fantastic. You have the base. Um, you would essentially want to build it. So we're working off these cubes today. And the cubes are adorable. They're also found at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to measure them. I think they're two inch cubes. I want to verify that with you for you. Do, do, do. Okay, my friends. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to measure this real quick and just verify. Yep, they're two inch cubes found at Hobby Lobby, which is fantastic. Um, and they're going to allow you to create this right here, okay? So this is awesome. I've sublimated several puzzles. I love it. Yes, I love the colors, okay? So this is your own DIY puzzle. Now I wanna share with you at home, you may have some of the puzzles that are available at like Amazon. Those puzzles, are awesome. Like you can do a regular puzzle. This is the option if you want to do like a wooden puzzle or things like that with pieces of wood because we have a hack today. So I wanted to let you guys know there is a hack to the madness. Okay, my friends. So there is a hack to the madness today. That is really awesome. So what you're getting today is this right here. So here's what you need to make today's project. You need a heating source. So this right here, is our baby easy press. This is our six by seven easy press. It's already preheated and boy, it's warm. Okay, so you need an easy press. You need heat resistant tape. This is a uh, need that you always need with sublimation. You're also going to want to have the wood we talked about. Love that, love, love, love that. Um, you're gonna need your cubes. But we have something special today. This is our thermal laminating pouch all right so pouches so this is going to allow you to take a piece of laminate so this right here um, is just one piece of laminate i think we separated the pouch so we have a piece of laminate this is the secret that is going to allow us to sublimate on the wood so how the sandwich is going painted wood blocks then we will laminate then lastly, we will sublimate. So this is our sublimation paper. Amazing. If you are not using a sub um, sublimation paper, definitely pick some up. You're going to absolutely love, love, love having that there. 
um, I absolutely adore it. So that is fantastic. Um, and we're super excited. Crystal says, Tanner, sounds like your allergies are bothering you today. We'll be praying for you. Crystal, thank you so much, my friend. Um, I will concur that yes, they are pretty bad today. It's crazy. So that's fun, but we're getting over it. So this is our ASAP paper. We're using it today. Um, we have our printer that we're going to use that is converted for sublimation. And one thing I wanted to point out was we also have the blocks already painted, but we took rubber bands and put one just around the, the blocks. So you just take it and place it around. So you just place it around. We've already um, secured that there. So that's awesome. And then we have the pressing pad. I don't talk about pressing pads too awfully, um, like too much at all, but I absolutely love, love, love a pressing pad. Like they are phenomenal um, if you are doing sublimation. So highly recommend that and it is so fun. So if you guys have any questions about material, go ahead and drop those. We're super excited to make this project and it's actually not hard at all. I want to go ahead and do a step with you so you know kind of what we've got going on um, and then you'll kind of get the concept a little bit better okay so we're going to take just our pressing mat and we have our, our cubes all queued up they're painted they've been dried we have the rubber band on it we're going to take this here make sure you're happy with it because this is a very important part and we're going to take our piece of laminate. We're going to lay it down really smooth. Now for this, we do not need to tape it down, but when we get to our next step, we will totally be taping this down. Okay. Um, I also have, I thought I had butcher's paper. I need a piece of butcher's paper. Let me see. Where did the butcher's paper? Oh, here it is. Okay. So I just needed a piece of butcher's paper to put down to secure this. And now we're gonna heat set this for 40 seconds. So watch what's gonna happen here. So we're gonna heat set this right here. Um, and it's gonna be awesome. My cares, if you are looking for information on converting a printer, stay tuned to the channel because we are super excited to have an announcement next week. So. Um, Jean says, is there a difference between the pressing pad and the Cricut heat mat? Jean, yes. The pressing pad is very different than the Cricut uh, mat. That's a great question. So very different. Very, very different. Um, you can see this is pretty much like a thick piece of rubber. Um, so we like to have this for a lot of unique items we're going to sublimate with. So. We're going to lift this up. Now, if you look right here, this is pretty secure to our wood now. So what we're going to do after we let this cool for a moment, we are going to go ahead and cut this out. So we're going to cut this out with our craft knife. Um, this is our Cricut True Control knife. This is still pretty warm, so we're going to let that drop. Carol, how are you, my friend? I hope you're doing well. Miss you. And you can check and make sure that it's all down very well. This is down very, very well. Um, so that's awesome. And we're going to let this dry or cool. I always want to say it to let it dry. That's so funny. Okay. Love it. So, okay. Now that it's kind of cooled, w watch what we're going to do. So I'm just going to take this and just cut this down the middle, cut this right there, and then I'm going to cut it right here. Beautiful. We're going to do this, and then let me show you what I do about all this excess edge. Okay, so what I do is I take it, pick it up, flip it over, ta-da, and then we cut out this. And I try to be very careful because I don't want to hurt my rubber mat, um, but also treat it kind of like a self-healing mat. I'm not saying you want to or should, but that's just kind of what we do. Okay. Ta-da! Okay, 
So then you can kind of pull this up. Love it. All right. So that any area that's still having issues, love that. Okay. So we're going to pick this up now, and you'll see it's secured on. So all of these are secured. And then you can clean up any edges here in a minute after we are done. I'm not going to unsecure this at all. <gasps> Roxanne, super nice to be watching live. I rarely get to do this. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Roxanne. Oh my goodness. Love it. Missed some of the video. It was delayed. Sorry, Yolanda. Uh, we're super excited you're here now. We are going ahead and making a sublimation uh, puzzle out of wood blocks. So it's a perfect like kid craft. It's super awesome. This is a Maker's Go Learn cut file. I believe it's two different cut files. Um, so we're super excited to share with you what we've kind of done for this project. So this is going to be adorable. I think you're going to really, really, really enjoy it. So, okay. So we've went ahead and laminated this down. Everything's secured. Um, I want to share with you, you may be saying, Tanner, why are you using laminate sheets rather than polyacrylic? And guys, spoiler alert, I have a surprise. We tested it. Look at this right here. This is when we tried to use the polyacrylic. When you use polyacrylic with sublimation, it's, uh, it's either really great <laughs> or it could be really bad. Um, so we want you to get the best results possible when you are doing sublimation. So that's why I would much rather have this rather than this like it's crazy like this does not look good the polyacrylic did not work too well for us for this project for numerous reasons um we just are not too big of a fan of that okay my friends so you just want to be very careful when it comes to uh doing that okay so we can build our puzzle back do 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 Getting all our pieces together here. Love this. Okay. Just building my puzzle back very quickly. Love it. Perfect, perfect. I swear, this sometimes is harder than it looks. <laughs> okay. So we've got this all together. Boom, 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 boom. Love it. Okay, so we have our puzzle here. I swear. Ta-da, let me move this piece around. Love it. Okay, so we got our puzzle back, but this looks much, much better than everything else there because you wanna make sure that you have all of your sublimation ready to go when you press it so that's the secret so when we head over to design space we're going to do this all in cricut design space today no fancy software you need at all so that's gonna be perfect so let's head over and take a look at cricut design space um because that will be very handy so here is our cricut design space Woohoo! okay i'm using my computer today just because it was already set up for my own computer and i was like let's do it so what you're looking at here in design space <clears throat> is something that you're going to absolutely adore. So what we've got is multiple files. So we have our print and cut file for Maker's Gonna Learn. This is called Barn. Um, you have a pattern piece of paper. Um, it's the November uh, 651 Snow. So this was actually first showcased in a uh, vinyl release that we did in partnership with 143 Vinyl back in the day. So that's a really fun little little throwback for you guys. If you did not know, we used to partner with them to do some really fun vinyl. We did that in a few boxes and things like that. Um, so that's fun. Katie says, did you cut the laminate pouch for a, a single laminate sheet? Yes, we did. We cut that. We're using just one sheet um, and that's so fun. Hey, WDP, have fun watching it work. I love that, I love it. So if you guys are brand new here, Makers and Learn gives you access to everything you need to know about your cut files. So you're getting access to thousands of cut files, hundreds of fonts, and so much more. If you are considering 
joining today, I highly recommend grabbing um, with the coupon because this coupon is um, a special gift. So you get a special little discount when you say yes to membership. And Yolanda, you will totally want to make this for your grandson. It is so fun. So um, you are able to use Cricut Design Space without paying. That is a big question we get about our membership. Do I have to pay for Cricut Design Space and pay for Makers Gonna Learn? And my friend, the answer is no. You do not have to pay for Cricut Design Space. It is completely free because you bought a Cricut. So when you become a member, you can take our artwork, put it inside Cricut Design Space completely free. Um, everything you get there is included. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we did to turn all these cut falls into a print and cut. So this right here is what we've got. So we've sized our, um, we've sized a few things. So we're taking a little, a little uh, square. So the square is actually um, the size of that we need. So it's 6.3 by 4.2. We add in our pattern, which is perfect. Notice that we have this little uh, base that's brown. And then when we add in our barn, look at this. Boom, boom, look at that. Easy, one, two, three, you are golden. Okay, my friends? So if you take this and you go over to the website, which I have right here. You can go to makersgonlearn.com and I have questions for boot camp. So if you have your boot camp questions, let me know. We're super excited. You can become a member and get access to all of this. So under our cut file library, you can go through print and cut. And let me tell you, oh my gosh, so many cut files that you're able to print and cut or sublimate. We're gonna have to add a whole sublimation category um, because it would be endless. So. All of these are pretty much able to sublimate. You're able to make stickers. Here's our barn. If you wanted a more uh, patriotic, we have a different barn. So many fun little images. Guys, you're gonna love it. So that's fantastic. Um, download all you want. What we love about our membership is that there's unlimited downloads. So when you're ready to join, you can go to makersandlearn.com slash join and you'll be able to sign up for a membership. You can become a member for as low as uh, $19.99 a month, which is crazy sauce, crazy, crazy sauce. And you can click sign up now. And the best part about membership, guys, is that you can, uh, you know, have lifetime access to the cut files you download. So whether you're a year member for a year and then cancel all the cut files that you downloaded, um, you'll have forever. So that's fantastic. So yay, you can see the bonuses and this price gets even cheaper utilizing that coupon code YouTube at checkout. So that's a special um, discount just for you. So yay, oh, breeding 0689. I joined for a month to see if I love it and I can already tell I'm going to be an annual member. My friend, if you are considering annual membership, do not wait, run over there. We have so many new bonuses coming for our year members. So we're so excited. You can join today, get started, and it's so much fun. I love that you tried the membership for a month. I highly recommend that for friends that are ready to jump in. But yes, you will definitely want to become an annual member very quickly. So I love that. So let's get back over to Cricut Design Space to finish our project because it's not much stuff at all. I have one tip to share with you to complete this process. So let's head over there. Um, when you're back over to Cricut, you're going to see that you have this right here, um, all the files. So again, the three files together. Notice that if we were to cut this right now, look what would happen. So they're all like printed they're all layers, right? Um, let's click on the map. It's gonna give us that little square. That's gonna be on a sheet. And then look, it's gonna give us this. And then it's gonna give us this. We do not want this when it comes to sublimation. Okay, my friends, we do not want this at all. We need to be able um, to have it together. So let's go and click cancel. And then let's go ahead and select all of these layers. So you select all the layers, make sure it's positioned right where you want it. And here's what we're going to do. We are going to press a special button that is called flatten. Flatten is found at the bottom right hand corner 
a design space and watch the layers here my friends and the the sidebar what happens to this when we press flatten are you ready here we go one two three flatten bada bing bada boom look at this it's now one beautiful layer and it's perfect so we can click x we already had this one prepped same thing you're good to go okay this is amazing i love it i love it i've been slowly downloading them on my laptop ready to use as my cricut original explorer hoping to get a maker julie let me tell you i want to let you know about something crazy now if you are not crazy crazy about the brand new maker um you can get the old maker for 249. i think that's a pretty good price 249 you can have a cricut maker it'll come with some bonuses in there i think that the maker 3 does not even have so that's a little little trick um once you're ready to print and cut you will want to have your a sub paper you do have to have one of two things you have to have a a sublimation printer like a sawgrass i don't love the sawgrass from everything i've done but what i have loved is a converted printer we have converted numerous numerous printers y'all we are becoming the hub of sublimation like just because a i love it and b it is so fun and c it is so easy and d i know you guys are gonna love it too <laughs> so that's why we were testing so many different sublimation printers we're making sure the process is perfect i love it um this one's one we've converted so that's fantastic but if you want to convert one there are some exciting announcements coming next week. I can't wait to share with you. Um, we've already loaded in our A sub paper. Oh, this is not my A sub paper, so I'm glad I caught myself. This is my A sub paper. We're going to load this in. Um, if you've never worked with A sub, sublimation paper is really easy. It's clear, and then it's um, or it's it's white, and then it says A sub on the back. So we're just going to load in a sheet or two to our printer. Um, I like to keep all my paper in the box because I want to protect it. So sublimation is again that ink transfer. Um, so you want to take very good care of your paper. You want to be very mindful of it compared to vinyl. So it's a little bit different, um, you know, a little bit different of a process. Okay, so let's head back over to the computer. If I can, <laughs> let's head back up to the computer and let me share with you the final step on how I do sublimation within Cricut because I know a lot of us may be asking questions like Tanner how do we do that right so how do we do that um that is so fun so yay Tanner that's what I'm going to do I'm gonna buy an older maker well they're on sale so get it while it's hot I love it so we can click make it and you can see here it is right there ready to go um and that's gonna be perfect so that's gonna allow us to make what we need and have it ready to go and i just want to double check the size so i'm going to double check so we have six by four so i'm going to go back i'm going to click cancel and i'm going to check the size so we need it down to six a little bit bigger than six there we go love that love 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 that Okay, so here's what we're going to do, my friends. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this, size it up just a hair, and then what we're going to do now is just double check that the background is going to fit on everything. So double checking. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Perfect, we can click make it. It's going to put it on a print and cut mat and it's giving you this bar. That's totally fine. Spoiler alert, we're going to cut it off. So let's press continue. Is there shadowing if you don't have a full design? So no, I do not believe so. Oh my goodness, Aaliyah caught me. Thank you, Aaliyah. We need to press edit. And because we're doing sublimation, we need to mirror the image, okay? So let's mirror that because it is go flip. Thank you, Aaliyah. Um, and then you can press done. And we're going to click send a printer. So we're going to click use system dialog. And we are going to click 
we're going to click on the Epson and let's click print. So it's going to pop up on its own panel right here. And I'm going to click on this nearby printer. Um, and it's going to set this up. So this is the first time that I've used it. Even though I have the software, the Edson software on here, um, it's all good. So it grabbed it. Now I'm going to take the quality from normal to best. Yes, Aaliyah, claps for Aaliyah. Jen says, good job, Aaliyah. Aaliyah, you are rocking it. Thank you so much. Um, so that's fun. So there you go. And then after it's best quality, we are going to be able to press the print button. Okay. And yes, you can totally, totally use pictures. There's so many different things you can use for sublimation. That's why we, that's why we love it guys. Like our membership, we have so many sublimation files coming out. It's going to be great. So I'm just going to press print. Um, and it's going to think about it over here already says printing. Um, and that's like the hardest part, like Cricut design space and just setting up your file is the hardest part about sublimation. Like it is crazy at how fun it is and how easy it is to utilize sublimation. So we're gonna let that print out and it's going to ask you right here. Um, we're just gonna press okay. So it's asked us, it says, hey, like this is something other than printer paper, is that okay? And you just wanna press okay, sure, proceed. Um, did it really matter if you mirrored since there aren't letters or numbers? It would put it on the opposite side. So for example, say this isn't mirrored um, and this one is mirrored, the truck would be in a different place. So we'll see, we'll see if when Courtney prepared this project, if she mirrored or not. That's so cool. So technically I don't think it really does matter, but it would be different. Um, and yes, <laughs> I love it. So that's awesome. So we're going to calm down our easy press. Another thing I want to let you guys know about sublimation. When you are sublimating, I want you to think about this. Make sure that your sublimation image is smaller than the heat press you're using. Okay, my friends. Um, I love it. Carol says, a friend asked my thoughts on purchasing a used machine. Beyond not having the warranty, I didn't know how to respond. Thoughts? Carol, my favorite way to approach used machines. Um, a, do a test cut if they'll allow you. And B, if it was broken, would you still buy it and risk it? That's the best way to describe used machines. I only like to buy used machines from people that I trust people that I trust, um, I think is my favorite way to describe that. And yes, I love my ASUB paper as well. This is a very uh, long image to print. So it does, you know, the only thing that about sublimation that's truly expensive is the sublimation paper. Um, definitely the ink and sublimation paper are your two main expenses after you dive into it. So. Definitely think about that as you're going through. If you are uh, just tuning in, I wanna share with you the A sub paper that we're using today. So this is A sub sublimation paper. It's fantastic. So yay, love it. Remember when Tanner sublimated the sequin pillow? I'm still impressed. Guys, okay, let's talk about this real quick. If you attended summer camp, can I have like an emoji? Can I have a hand raise? Can I have something there? because I'm super excited. Um, Madeline's Creations, do you have to take the bleed off? <sighs> Madeline, I prefer to take bleed off, but you could leave it. Um, for a lot of sublimation projects, it just doesn't make sense to um, have it on. So yeah, that's, yeah, you don't need bleed really when you are sublimating. So that's a great question. So if you attended summer camp, can I have some emojis? If you attended summer camp, Amy's there, Linda, Lorraine, Jennifer, y'all. I'm so excited for what we're about to do at this maker camp. So this is our October maker camp. It is going to be so good. I'm so excited. There's announcements, there's crafts. It's five days long. You do not want to miss it. Live or recorded, you do not want to miss this. I'm giving away something over $100 of value every single day. Um, on Thursday and Friday, you can win a Cricut Maker on Thursday and a sublimation printer of your own on Friday. So lots of great opportunities. I'm super excited. But we are making a sublimation 
get ready for this. We're making a sublimation dun, 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 blanket. We're making a blanket. It's amazing. I cannot wait for you to join us to make this blanket. So let's go ahead and cut this out right here. This is just the little rectangle that Cricut puts around it. Um, if you're using another software, let's talk about that. If you want to use your own software to do this project, feel free. Feel completely free to do that, okay? You can totally use a different software if you choose. Um, do not feel like you have to use Cricut Design Space. There are so many other options for you if you would like. So if you would prefer to use your own software, feel free. Do not feel like you have to use what we use, okay? So I just want to let you guys know about that. Now I'm trimming this pretty close to the edge because I'm going to take this down. I want to tape it just to secure it and make sure everything is good. So therefore, I want it pretty close just to see, just to see everything going on. Okay, this is gonna be so fun. So, so fun. I keep trimming it more and more. Perfect. So there we go. Love that. Love, love, love it. I'm excited for camp. Yay! I love it. Me too. Me too. Me too. I love it. Yeah, I turned bleed off. That is awesome. Is there a benefit to cutting the blocks apart before sublimating? Gene, yes. I, it's just really worrisome for me. I want, if there's going to be any issue cutting, I want it to happen before I sublimate. Because sublimating is like the final step. So I don't want to have a perfect project and then all of a sudden something happened. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this, flip it over, line it up, make sure you're happy with it. Um, now that I know the edges are pretty much perfect because I trimmed it really well, I'm going to hold my hand down, position it one more time, and then I'm going to take this and tape it down. So this right here is going to help all our edges, all of our edges. Look at that, I'm gonna place that down and then tape it. This is gonna help us because we are using an easy press with a sublimation project. So I do like to do this with sublimation. I love it. Okay, that wanted to stick off a little, but we'll add another supporting piece. And I'm just really constantly worried about my sublimation projects. So I like to say that I'm the person to tape too much, you do not have to tape as much as me. I, I just want to be frank. You do not have to tape as much as me um, to get a great quality product. But uh, I do like to tape a lot. And you know me, I'm not someone to over, over worry about things. But especially with a project like this, there's multiple pieces of wood. We're using the pressing pad, which is great for this, but I do like to over tape. Just for my safety and honestly my sanity. Surely when does boot camp start? Maker boot camp is starting this coming Monday, November 1st. November 1st. I cannot wait. Cannot wait at all. The first night is at nine o'clock Eastern and you're gonna love it. Like you're going to be present. It's gonna be awesome. We're super thrilled. Okay, so we've taped this down. Everything looks really good. I'm gonna get this corner real quick. Love it. Perfect. Okay, so I've taped it down. And oh, yay, Shirley, you tape a lot too. I'm so glad we're, we're together. So this is butcher's paper. Now I wanted to let you guys know, you do not want to use just Teflon. So Teflon actually, my friends, Teflon is actually going to not um, let you get the moisture out of your project. So you want to use the butcher's paper. You might be like, I have a Teflon sheet. That does not matter, okay? Whoops, I went to the wrong screen. Whoops, another screen. Whoops, we're back. Okay, so we're gonna take this, just like so. We've added our butcher's paper. We're gonna plot this down. One, two, three. We're not gonna move it. 40 seconds. I'm going to apply firm pressure. So I'm going to pull up the comments. Woohoo! Do we need to sign up for boot camp? Lorraine, it is on the YouTube channel, but I will say you will be getting emails for it. So you will be getting emails for it. That is fantastic. I'm super excited. Yay. Okay. 
Love it, love it, love it. I'm a little experienced with sublimation. Every time I don't tape, I get shadowing. So now I tape over too. Yeah, it happens once. And I think it happened to me once on a live stream maybe. And I was like, I don't want to do this ever again. Like it was very sad. So, okay, we're going to lift up. I'm going to give it just a little bit extra because I may have wanted 50 seconds, but I, I think it's fine. So we're going to lift up. Now, I didn't even notice or spend time with you guys explaining that it's okay the image looks uh, very, very dull. But if you are brand new to sublimation, when you print it out, your image can look dull. That's fine. So we're going to let this cool. I'm so excited. I can see through it, which is a very good sign. And then if we, this is the worst part. I want to always see my design right away but I have so much tape on it, it always keeps me from it. Oh, and look at this. So you can see this one right here. I may have not applied enough pressure, but this right here did really, really well. So you can have two options. You can hit it again by hoping it'll lay exactly flat, but then you could get shadowing and things like that um, or, you know, or not. So we're gonna try to give it just a little bit more heat and see what happens. I'm going to try to really apply pressure right there. And it's 9 o'clock Eastern um, at night. So not 9 a.m. Not 9 a.m. It's 9 p.m. Okay. So it might have created some shadowing, but I wanted to risk it just to give you guys the example. So it kind of corrected it a little bit. For some reason, there is like some detail. I don't know if it's in the wood or what, but overall, aside from that, it looks really, really good. So that's very odd. I don't know if it was a print issue or what. So this is the one that we um, have finished. This is the one that we just made. Um, and either way, I mean, it still looks really good. I love it. Um, and it's awesome. So ghosting yeah surely it's like a little ghosting i will say with this being wood so this is wood so where it comes wood i mean there is a lot of texture here and if your pressure when you're applying down um is not perfect you may run into that so that's one of the things about doing hacks like this like i love being able to build puzzles i love being able to do that um so notice the trucks on the opposite side so clearly courtney did not mirror but I did, so <laughs> love that. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. There might've been moisture in the wood, the paint, you know, could have not cured long enough. This did cure a long time, like over 24 hours. Um, yeah, and Courtney, the verdict's out. Courtney did not mirror. Megan, yeah, you, Madeline called it. <laughs> but it's still awesome. Like, I would not worry too much. And that's just something to note when you are going through this hack. So let's say we're done. We're taking the rubber band off. This is very taut. And then look, the reason why, Jean, um, I wanted to make sure that I already cut is because now, look at this. They come off and it's super... Like this is such a super store-bought look um, and it feels really good. Like this feels really, really good. Yeah, love it, love it. My allergies are a tiny bit better. Uh, Aaliyah, we did mirror our exam. We did mirror ours, but Courtney did not mirror the example. So yeah, that's why I like to pre-cut the laminate because if you run into any issues with the laminate, you can fix it before you get to the sublimating. I like to always, always, always pretty much sublimate last. Like some people like to sublimate then bleach. You can do either really, but if you're sublimating as your last step, like that's kind of like when I'm done, like I want it to be perfect. I want to move on and sublimate at the very end. So that's why I like to use the craft knife, cut around, do everything you need to before that. Okay, my friends, before you, you know, sublimate, I like to just have it cut. You don't have to, but... I think it works better that way. You can see more of your design. You can see the laminate. You can see the wood, things like that. So those are things that you may not think about that would be really helpful for you when you are able to do that. So yay, Shirley says, this is perfect for me to do with my grandson. Man, he is getting sweet stuff from grandma since joining Maker's Gonna Learn. Yay, you can do this full design. Guys, get your cut falls. This was two cut falls and a browned rectangle. Like well, flatten that together print it out and you were so good. 
So if you're just tuning in with us, the way we are able to sublimate the wood is not painted wood. We were able to do that based on a piece of laminate. So your laminate sheet is your hack to be able to make your own puzzle. Super awesome. We even built this base right here out of this right here. So we built this, painted it out of a piece of, I think this is like birch wood, and then a 3 4 inch dowel, a little square dowel from Hobby Lobby. So 3 4 inch, um, and this is a 36 inch piece for guys, $2.99. $2.99 and they both do look really great so I love that now you need to put three more images on for more puzzles <laughs> Aaliyah I love 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 the puzzles that is super fun but I wanted to also share with you one last time look at this this is what happened when we did the poly acrylic so this is why we do not recommend poly acrylic for a puzzle like this um, with the texture of the wood it was a no-go it was a no-go for us here at Makers Gonna Learn. So we do not recommend the poly acrylic. It would be very tedious for us to do that. So we just build our puzzle back, just like so. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We absolutely love it. So that is really fantastic. So I want to hear from any friends, are you going to try to make a puzzle? If you're going to try to make a puzzle, I want to hear about it. Shirley said she's going to make one for her grandson. I absolutely love that, Shirley. It's going to be awesome. Um, if you're not a Makers to Learn member, what are you waiting on? My friend, I want to personally invite you. Use the link down below. I will drop it here in the comments just for you, just for the friend that's like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to join. Guys, I want to craft with you all Christmas long. And the best way to craft with me is to be a member because you can make this project right away. You can take this, make this, rock this, mainly, um, if you become a member today. So you're going to absolutely love it. You can utilize the coupon code YouTube at checkout for year membership. Utilize that coupon code. It's a special savings for me to you, and you're going to be able to start rocking your crafts. You're going to get access to thousands of cut files, hundreds of fonts, over 10 training courses to help you be a well-rounded crafter and so much more like our facebook group our commercial lessons the support from our team is tremendous so i want to encourage you to get plugged in and get started today let's see what everyone's saying over here on the comments oh i need to do this with my toddler yes 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 jean says yes shirley yolanda roxanne katie oh i love it four photos of the kiddos mamaw's gift costs like two dollars that would be Honestly, amazing. What mammal does not want to see a picture of their grandkids right here? Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. Love it. Um, that is so fun. Uh, Shirley says, join. It's so worth it. Sell a few projects and the membership will pay for itself. That's a great um, point. The amount of people that say, hey, I became a member and now I'm getting $100 orders and I feel confident fulfilling them. Like you're going to have to do the work to sell your projects. But when you sell them and you need a place to get commercial licensed artwork, commercial licensed fonts, you can do that. Oh, Ariel wants to do alphabet blocks or matching top game with images sublimated on. I love that. Lorraine says, gotta make some puzzles for my nieces. <gasps> Kid drawings on a side. I love that too. You guys are rocking it. I am super excited for all the ideas that you guys have started. And it seems like there's a lot of ideas. So that is phenomenal. I love that. That is awesome. And then Megan says, if you aren't a member and you've been watching these lives, what is holding you back? Oh my gosh, let us know. What is holding you back from becoming a member? If you've been watching the lives, you've been hanging out with us and you're like, oh, it's just this thing. Or maybe it's like, you don't know. Um, I want to encourage you. The membership is such a great option. The transformations that happen when you become a member, it's just like a step deeper than just watching the YouTube channel. Like the way we, ex the way I explain it is if you love the YouTube channel, the membership is the obvious next step because we think about you guys every single day. Our entire team shows up, comes to the office, logs on the internet as we have this employees in like multiple countries, which is phenomenal. Um, so we're super excited. Loretta showed up halfway through and started over to see the beginning. Hey, Loretta. Shows like a Barnes Imperfections. So true. Gosh, I love it. I love it. Love it. Does regular inkjet ink work for sublimations? Deep down south grainy? No. So you have to have a printer that is able to A, convert, 
and B, take the sublimation ink, which would be one that can convert. So stay tuned next week. We're going to be talking a lot more about that. I'm super, super excited. Block puzzles, the new Starbucks cup, just say, it. hey, I'm, I'm ready for it. As you can see, I'm ready. So I love that. But guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We've had so much fun making this puzzle with you guys. It is amazing. I love it. I hope you guys are excited for the holiday season. This is going to be probably our best Christmas yet. And if you join the membership today, you're going to get access to well over a thousand Christmas cut falls. Guys, over a thousand. You do not want to miss out on this. If you want to get crafty this Christmas, master your Cricut, master sublimation, get started with us because you want to grab a membership and we will make sure you are super crafty and having the best handmade holiday ever. So we're super, super excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. This has been such a fun time and I cannot wait to see what you guys do. Glad I've avoided the that waste. Yes. Love it. Love it. Well, you will love sublimation once you try it. Like it sounds like it's too easy, but you will absolutely love it if you get started. So if you're interested, definitely check it out. Yay, Josephine's going to try it. Yay, I love it. Well, guys, thank you so much. Have a great day, and we'll see you back here at the Makers and Learn YouTube channel real soon. And don't forget, Maker Boot Camp is coming up. So I will share that just to end out the stream for anyone that is curious. Um, if you are interested in Maker Boot Camp, let me share with you real quick. This is Maker Boot Camp. We are giving away five different things. We've got a mini easy press. We have a handbag. Um, an Amazon gift card, a sublimation printer, and a Cricut Maker 3. Um, and then here is the schedule. So I'm going to turn this off. N day 1, November 1st, 9 p.m., we're making a porch sign. Uh, November 2nd, a Christmas countdown. Uh, November 3rd, a Cricut doormat with a uh, flex seal. I'm so excited for that one. It looks so good. Day 4... Uh, make an explosion cricket box. You're gonna love it. And we're gonna end out making that sublimation blanket. So November 1st and November 4th, 9 p.m. November 2nd, 3rd and 5th, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. 1.30 p.m. Eastern. So that's fantastic. I love it. And if you're a member, you are gonna have access to all the cut balls and everything that we use. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I cannot wait to get crafty with you guys. If you need anything, be sure to reach out. We're super excited for all of the crafts that we have going on. So thank you, thank you, thank you, my friends. Have an amazing night um, and evening, and we'll see you back here at the channel real soon. Bye now. See you guys.